please bear with me, this is my first attempt at a video with commentary, and I am reading from a script. Please understand that this video is not an argument of science, but an argument based upon my understanding of science on this topic. If I have made any blunders, or if I could have done a better job, please comment so I can improve my later videos. Thank you for watching. This video is solely devoted to explaining how our ancestors had 24 pairs of chromosomes and modern humans have only 23 pairs. First off, many of you probably have found the answer to this in realizing that the number 2 chromosome is a fusion of 2 chromosome pairs, resulting in a total of 23 pairs for modern humans. But I want to look at a deeper question. If the chances of an offspring sustaining a chromosomal fusion is 1 in 1,000, how does an ancestor with 23 pairs find a mate to start producing modern humans? Most people know when you cross a horse and a donkey, you get a mule. Unfortunately, the mule is infertile because of the differences in the number of chromosome pairs between the two species that produced it. More often than not, the mule is the exception. The wild horse with 33 pairs and the domesticated horse with 32 pairs can breed and produce fertile offspring. So what does this mean for the idea of common ancestry? It's completely plausible. Please be sure to check out the video info section to read the entire articles that help me understand why this can and does occur. It also lists many more examples of species being able to produce viable offspring despite chromosome fusions. I would have listed many more, but I, but if I do all the research, then you would just be taking my word for it, and that would be a disservice. It's 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, it's midnight, it's midnight, it's midnight, it's midnight, it's midnight.